Hello there, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Today we'll continue on Let's Play. This is episode 24. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Chiliad Challenge, which is a set of mountain bike races using the aforementioned Mount Chiliad. Uh, these are pretty difficult. In order to do these, you need to go ahead and hop on the bike at the top of the mountain with at least 40% cycle skill, of course. If you have been following this LP correctly and done the Courier and the BMX challenge, your cycle skill should be sufficient by this point. Cycling skill seems to level up a lot faster than the other modes of transport as well. So actually by the end of this I think I had 100% cycle skill which is pretty interesting. Now there's three routes total, three races, you essentially race against people to get down to the bottom of the mountain in the first two taking slightly different routes and then the third one uh, is a little bit different and you'll see that one in a minute but essentially three routes total and this can be a pretty tricky challenge if you don't know what you're doing. What I will suggest is you might have noticed the start of these races is a bit of a clusterfuck. I would say take it easy on this one as the competitors are wildly unpredictable. If you try to get into the lead quickly on you just will get absolutely mollywopped, you'll get spun out, all the rest of it fall off your bike a lot and then the lead guy will just be so far down the road you can't catch him. Essentially it's just the first minute or so take it easy, maybe don't try and go for too many overtakes and then uh, as sort of time goes on you'll eventually be able to make your way a path up the field and then as you can see eventually uh, you'll be promoted into the lead and you'll get so far into the lead uh, by the end of it that you can slip up and make mistakes and you'll probably be fine. Uh, yeah, just take it easy is essentially the big thing. You can't kill the opposition as well, unlike in, say, maybe 8-track, which I believe you may have been able to. In this one, if you so much as shoot them, you'll fail and get a 1-star wanted level, so don't think about that at all. Because, uh, yeah, it's not worth doing. So, the second route, as you can see here, a uh, different time of day. Uh, I will say, actually, you can only access this between 7 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. is your timings on this. So, if you uh, go past that a lot of time, just simply go down into Angel Pine and save and then come back up. But as you can see, the sort of take easy strategy here. I'm not rushing, I'm not tapping X or anything like that. I'm sort of just letting them do their thing, taking some corner cuts. Essentially, your goal here is to stay as far away from them as possible, which is something we've done uh, in previous GTA races. Uh, as you can see here, I end up tangling with one of them. You can go for pit maneuvers and stuff by putting your front wheel towards the rear wheel in an attempt to spin them out, but uh, I wouldn't really recommend that. But as soon as you can see there, I get a little bit of a clear path and then start cycling rapidly. I don't think the AI are as quick as you are in the sense that they can't do the tap X to sort of sprint cycle for lack of a better term. So they don't actually have the ability to do that. I should say that is largely affected by your stamina as well. So make sure you have decent stamina before you do this. You should do by this point in the game as we've sort of gone through LS with the gym moves and so on. Uh, your stamina should be pretty good and unlike something like muscle or fat or something that will not decrease as the game goes on so Make sure to get that up to a certain extent. It's not massively uh, Well, it, it helps definitely but by this point in the game you should have about at least 50% stamina I think I had so Not too bad cycling skill essentially just affects how uh, Much punishment you can go for before you fall off the bike, which is actually quite useful here uh, when you consider how sort of angry the competitors can get. So this second run, I actually find this one to be a fair bit easier than the first one just because there is more opportunities to cut corners and save a bit of time. Uh, I will say do keep an eye out because it is very possible to fall off the cliff during these. This one doesn't have so many barriers and stuff to keep you on track. I'm not sure which route we're taking. I believe we're going down uh, the south way which, yeah, you end up in the same place, but it's a little bit sort of wind differently. So essentially you have two descent routes and then the third race, which again, uh, you'll see in a second, the third race is interesting, to say the least. But yeah, 
as I said, they're not massively difficult past the first minute because you shouldn't really have to worry about the AI past the first minute. You can usually build up a healthy enough lead to not have to sort of care about what they're doing. But it's definitely challenging if you try to go in this in the way that you'd want to, which is essentially get into the lead as early as possible because you can't do that. Uh, you know, it's all more about patience and biding your time. It doesn't help the fact that the mountain bike, uh, one of the more active vehicles to ride in the game, of course, you need to make sure you're tapping X to get your speed up and all that. It's not like a normal bike where you can just hold down the accelerator or a car where you don't have to worry about falling off. So do bear that one in mind. Also, do watch yourself on this final descent. Uh, it is very easy to fall off the cliff, and if you do fall off the cliff here, chances are uh, you are not going to win. If you fall off the cliff in general, uh, chances are uh, you're not really going to be able to recuperate it. So there we go, that is the second route done. And now it's on to Cobra Run, which is interesting. This one requires some serious concentration. Some people think this is the easiest one because the AI are the worst at this one. But uh, yeah, it really does require concentration because this one is more about precision. The previous ones were just about sort of waiting for the AI and then making a run for it. This one, you've got to go down a bit of an obstacle course. There's some jumps in here. Uh, as you can see here, and then you've got to slow down rapidly because you have to go up this sort of wooden uh, ramp style thing, and you've got to be really careful. Technically, you can hit these checkpoints on the ground to a certain extent. Some of them you do have to bunny hop into, but yeah, just sort of ease up on the acceleration. You don't want to accelerate too much. You want to use your brakes a lot uh, just to make sure you can get slowed down. As you can see, this isn't exactly a perfect run. Uh, and I did fall off here, so that that's also a unique stunt jump. I should point that out as well. So take that for a cheeky five hundred dollars, which is nice. But you can actually see I dropped down to uh, third here. So and uh, do not take the unique stunt jump. I did previously though. I will point that out. So I'll be sure to show that in the unique stunt jump episode. But anyways. Once you're past that, the rest of this race becomes pretty easy. So, sort of the first 50 seconds or so, it's sort of precision course. After that, uh, so long as you don't fall off the side, it's a pretty straightforward affair, as you can see here. Rapidly cycling to uh, catch this guy. And you can sort of see my point here, where the AI aren't actually as quick as you are. He also does that for some reason. Uh, as I... You could see this really was not a good run, but... Uh, as I said, this is my least favourite. I definitely struggle on this one the most. But, uh, you know, you may differ. You may find uh, the second one harder than this one because the AI are tragic <laughs> at this event. But, yeah, for me personally, I find this one is the harder one to win. So there you go. And that is all the routes for the Chili Chili Ad Challenge. And we are one step towards or one step closer to 100% completion. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time out, well, I believe we're going to be looking at the paramedic side mission once again. A returning one from GTA 3 and Vice City. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. The power machine or on the freeway Father will make us my MC homeboy Knowing the rules ain't part of his program Finding the right way around this map Might be pretty hard cause he's fucked on crack G, Grand Theft Auto